ball get dropped along the way if this is something that you don't want happening there? Well, that's, a again, a really good question. I think... Now at five, we are asking some tough questions after learning that medical waste from Canada, possibly including aborted fetuses, was shipped here to Oregon for disposal. That disposal process, burning the waste, actually produced power for Oregon homes and businesses. Welcome everyone to Coin6 News at 5, I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola, and that medical waste was shipped to a facility near Brooks in Marion County. Officials there held an emergency meeting today to discuss what to do next. Chris Woodard was at that meeting, and Chris, you didn't let those people in charge off the hook, did you? No, and county commissioners themselves say they're outraged about this happening. So I asked, where was the oversight here, and how was this allowed to happen? I am horrified at this. All I know is I don't owe them a service. Marion County commissioners are angry. We're, there are just not enough strong words to say what I'm feeling right now. Informed last night of reports the Covanta Marion County Waste to Energy Plant may be accepting and burning fetal tissue from Canada, they called an emergency meeting to put a stop to the practice. I asked why they didn't know it could be happening there in the first place. Where did the ball get dropped along the way if this is something that you don't want happening there? Well, that's a, again a really good question. I think it was never in my mind that this was even a possibility. So when I thought of medical waste, I never thought of babies. I went to the Canadian government for answers and got a statement confirming they ship human waste to be incinerated at both U.S and Canadian facilities. Those opposed argue fetal tissue should be buried. Well, of course I'm horrified that we are treating human beings with such little respect. I looked it up and Marion County's ordinance cites state law. State law says incinerating all human tissues is legal. Still, commissioners have requested an investigation about who knew what and when. Did you have any idea that this fetal material was something that was coming into the plant? I had no idea at all. So again, my idea was, <clears throat> or knowledge was, that it was infectious medical waste. I also called the company who brought in the material, Stericycle, to find out what they knew. That call was not returned. How do you make sure this doesn't happen again? Uh, we're going to put every uh, mechanism in place. We're going to change legal documents. We're going to have random inspections. Bottom line is I don't want to be doing anything for Canada if we redo these contracts. Hmm. And as to that question about who knew what and when, yeah. today I did file a request with the county to take a look at that contract between them and Stericycle. Mm -hmm. We'll, of course, let everyone know exactly what that says and what we find out when we get it. Yeah, and I know you'll go over that contract line by line. It'll be interesting when we get our hands on that. Chris, thank you. Really disturbing, Chris. Thanks a lot.